this your girl, Miss Hobbs, and I want to know what you chewing today. Before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Today, we will be chewing some smothered fish and grits, y'all. Smothered fish? Smothered fish and grits. A little bit of filthy fish, a little filthy fish. <laughs> what I have in this pan here is just some oil. This is one bell pepper and one medium-sized onion cut up. So I'm <clears> going to put them in there. And I just turned this oil on, so it's not very hot yet. We'll give it a couple of seconds here, guys, to let it back get hot. And while that's getting hot, I have my fish over here. And the only thing I have on the fish is some salt. And guys, I like this to season in my sink because it gives me a little extra room. And remember, when you season for a better coverage, a more even coverage, just sprinkle high. And this is cayenne pepper I'm going in with. I really like cayenne on my seafood. I don't know why. And huh, you know that's going in heavy. That's heavy, y'all. Tell me what that is. I already know what that is. Ooh, that's real heavy on that one. That one got a lot of love. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Garlic yeah, powder is. smoke. Garlic powder smoke. Coming your way. Hey, over here choking on garlic powder. <laughs> oh, no, itching. Sorry, y'all. And all I'm doing here is I want to soften these vegetables up. A little bit. I know it looks like a lot of oil, but this is the oil that I'm going to cook the... Um, the fish in, and I'm kind of flavoring up the oil before I put the fish in. Mm. Give it a little extra little okay. extra little. Flavor your earl. Okay. Gotta flavor that earl. <coughs> flavor earl. Gotta flavor your earl. So what y'all been doing today? What's been going on, y'all? Y'all been chewing something today? If you've been chewing something today, let us know what you've been chewing on. Put it in the description box or the comment box down below. Yeah, I was talking to the uh, Fritz Family Entertainment. You guys go check out their channel too. They're a great couple. And um, they uh, jumped on one of my videos last night and let me know they were eating Firehouse. So I watched that mukbang today. They were eating Firehouse as I was eating noodles and I was tired. Mm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I went to sleep after that. Surprised myself because when I woke up, it was dark. Mm. And Brandon, the garbage disposal Clark, I'm sure y'all, you guys have heard me talk about him before. Mm -hmm. He was on live and I was confused. I had just woken up. I couldn't see real good because my contacts weren't focused yet. And I'm looking, trying to see if he was still on live or if I missed the live. And I'm, I'm going, going, going. And I see the title to the live because I've been checking on him. He lost his best friend a week ago and the funeral was today. And that's the reason I picked up the phone was to check on him because I hadn't talked to him all day today. And the title to his live was, the, uh, what was it? The police got called on me at the funeral. Y'all know my heart hit the floor. I'm trying to hit that button real quick to see what he was talking about. It was some stuff. <laughs> he, he knows this. Uh, he has a crazy neighbor, very crazy neighbor. Oh, yeah, she out of her mind, y'all. If y'all go to mind. his channel, y'all will see her in action. Mm -hmm. And she didn't even know his friend that showed up at the funeral today and called the cops on him for nothing. So, of course, I was glad to find out that he was okay. And everything was all good on his end. But that's just the wrong time. That's purely disrespectful yeah because he said the uh the minister was trying to get the cops to take him out of a side door or a back door because they came in in the middle of the funeral services they walked him right through the middle of the church to search him i was like really that's purely disrespectful to the family Right. And everything. He had caused no threat to anybody. She actually threatened him in the church. And there were witnesses there that saw all of that. So it's just crazy. Some people in this world are a mess. Yeah. A hot mess, y'all. 
I'm sad that happened at the funeral, but I'm glad that everybody ended up being okay. No charges or anything were pressed, but she, he didn't do anything. That's just crazy, man. Yeah, we had a pretty eventful day today ourselves, guys. Yes, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Brandon thought he was going to work this morning. B33. Mm -hmm. He thought he was going to work this morning, y'all. Nope. It wasn't happening, guys. Uh, having some problems and issues. Might be transmission. We're going to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the transmission mm -hmm. blew. I'm hoping that we can patch it together for a little while so we can save up to get a new transmission. Right. Hopefully, we'll find out on Monday whether or not that's going to be possible. Right. But keep y'all fingers crossed for us. Absolutely. Ain't nobody got no money for a new transmission. <laughs> right. That part. But I know that's better than buying a new car yeah. and having payments for the next five years. All right. So we're going to do what we can do about that. And keep our fingers crossed that everything works out well with it. All right. When I was on the Garbage Disposals Live tonight, I was telling him that I think we lost the transmission blue. Uh, I think the transmission blew today. He was like, oh, you having a great day too. I said, I'm just going to keep smiling. That's all, right. all I can do. <laughs> yeah. That's all I can do. Ooh, that smells good. You're smelling them. Mm-hmm. And they, I didn't have any to season anything. I know. Just it's pure just, vegetables. That's what nature does. <laughs> all natural. Mm-hmm. Almost time for me to hit you no way, y'all. Uh-oh. B33 trying to hit the door on trying me, Trying to hit the door! <laughs> All right, guys. I got that going pretty good. In this bag, I have a bag for fish. This is my fish bag. It looks yellow because there's cornmeal in there. Some people like cornmeal on their fish. Some people can't stand cornmeal on their fish. I like it on my fish. It gives a little extra crunch. And I also have some flour in there. So it's about a 50-50 mix of cornmeal and flour. And, um, of course, it's seasoned. Mm -hmm. So I have salt, some red pepper, some seasoning, salt, garlic powder, and some black pepper in here as well. And I am going to take my fish. I'm going to try and get the three little ones in there so I can do two separate batches. And just shake it up. Break it up. One fishy fishy. <laughs> Two fishy fishy. Three fishy fishy. All right, Count Dracula. I know. <laughs> Y'all miss my live. B33 got me thinking about Count Dracula. What is, yeah, what is, what is the system street to count? He had me cracking up, me and everybody else that was in the live cracking up <laughs> about Count Dracula. He just counts too slow. That's all my issue is. If you gonna count, go ahead and count. I don't got time to be waiting. Not on Sesame Street, you know. Mm -mm. I'm trying to get the LeBron James. You over here looking like dog on What's the name? Oh, what's the name? Oh, I forget. I, I don't watch basketball, so I have no. Of course no I know you don't watch basketball. Aha! My friend Kiana sent me this link because I love boxing. Here Unfortunately. I have not been able to watch boxing for the last year and a half. Right. And some guy got in the ring to start a fight. <laughs> and as soon as the bell rang, he walked straight out the ring and back into the dressing room. Yep, it was hilarious. I was like, what? What the was bell this? Ring, get that check. I'm out. I ain't finna fight this big guy. That guy was huge, too. And she said, she's like, this is worse than the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. Mm -hmm. She messes with me all the time about that fight, y'all. Oh, I was in pure disbelief. 
You missed that. Pacquiao got knocked out. Oh my God. I reacted somewhat, just a little bit. That was the Pacquiao. It was the, the Pacquiao Mayweather. That was the Pacquiao. What's the guy named he fought? The Asian looking guy. The guy he's been fighting for like 800 fights. And I fought like five fights. You remember Pacquiao had that streak yeah. with the old guy? Oh, what is yeah. his name? That's who knocked him out. That was so clean. He had a clean shot to Pacquiao's face. Just because you asked me, I can't think about it. You're asleep. Manuel Marquez. He was tired. Was it Manuel? No, it wasn't Manuel Marquez. Pacquiao was tired, y'all. Man, he was tired. He was asleep. He was knocked out. They just cold cut. I talked to y'all tomorrow. They some haters, y'all. It wasn't no hater, man. He just needed a nap. That man was tired. He run the government and he fight. Tired. He was tired. He needed a little nap. I needed a nap uh, today. I understand. I was tired. Uh uh. Matter of fact, guys, if you know who Manny Pacquiao fought and got knocked out by that time, comment down below. I was in the house screaming, "No, oh my God, no!" It was hilarious. And of course, everybody was laughing at me. Yes. Hilarious. My heart was broken, y'all. I was laughing at it. It was funny to me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just just like happened. It wasn't impossible. It was just, it's boxing. Like, you never know. It just only take one good clean shot. And that's what he took. <laughs> it was nice, clean, and efficient. Nice. You see what kind of friends I got, y'all? That's the support I get. It was an overhand right to the face. Like, it was just like a right to the, just a right to the face. To the face. Everybody was laughing at me. Yes, that was hilarious. I, re I reacted like I was his mama or something outside that ring. I wanted to jump like in. You hit the ground like he was dead. That was like, <laughs> like, bruh, like, oh no, back out dead. <laughs> I show ended up If he dies, he dies. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute, Mr. Jackson. You can't go on like Apollo Creed. Mm -mm. You can't do this, Pacquiao. Not on live HBO. Yeah, I act a fool over that one, y'all. <laughs> and that's been how many years ago? And oh, they, my God. They still, to this day, as you can see, as of today, they tease me about that fight. Those were the good old days, good old fight parties at the house. You sure that one man you want Marquez? No. Oh, okay. I gotta check and see what that one was. Yeah. I don't know, that one Marquez. I'm pretty sure. I thought it was. Those were the good old days, guys. Yes, they were. Miss Hobbs really used to throw down for the party people. Oh man, yeah, I used to miss. We used to have crowd boys and everything. It was phenomenal. We had Tupperwares. Full. I had like storage Tupperware uh, containers, not just regular Tupperware containers, the big storage containers. Mm -hmm. Full of snow crabs. Big, big. And potatoes and sausage and corn and eggs, all the fixings. All of it, y'all. Crawfish. Shrimp. Mm hmm. But of course, that was in Florida where I could get decent price seafood. Right. Can't do that here, y'all. Nope. All right, we got three pieces in. I got two pieces left. I'm going to eat. Shake this up real quick before I wash up my hands. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get rid of this real quick, guys. And as you can see, I have the fish on me. But I want to get it nice and crispy as well. 
because we are going to smuggle it in. Haha. Donna? Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? That was right. One menu with a market. That was Yes, you remember they don't thought they were like this. Yeah, they kept going back and forth. Yeah. But he got robbed, straight up robbed out of one of them. Right. They gave him my case. See, I know my boxing. See, look, y'all. She's supposed to be the boxing. Bam, bam. But look at the boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Bam. Pop my collar. Bam. Get it in. Huh. It's how I do. Know my boxing. In there. Don't Always be a hater all your life. You look at that. Always hate. You see that hater radio? You see that? It's live and in effect right now. Never. <laughs> I'll never hate. Always hate. hate. Rather hate. Rather hate. Rather hate. <clears throat> never hate, y'all. I don't want to be a hater no more. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. She ain't the player. She just hate a lot. <laughs> 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 they are going to come back and get you for that. Murdering his kid. Boy, boy. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hey, oh Lord. I ain't even hit the button, but it pulled up the video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Hold on. I'll let you see this. Boom, boom, boom. You see that? You see that? Boom. Boom. Golly. I don't know why B33 got to bring up all It stuff. was a sad day, y'all. For her. That one. <laughs> I don't know why B33 got to bring up old stuff. God, that made my whole night. That was a comedic moment for me. And oh, everybody else. Everybody's not right, going to lie. I to say, and everybody else. It was comedic. Everybody. She had had, I mean, she literally screamed, guys. You don't understand the intensity. I was like, Right, it was loud. No! I was like, wait a minute, did somebody die? Good, man, this ain't a Jason movie. You can't be screaming like that. I sure did. I sure it did. It was hilarious. I think that would made it all even more funnier, y'all, the fact that she was so passionate about him falling and going to sleep in the middle of the fight. He needed a nap. You know, I understood that. They could have let him wake up and, you know. So if he needed a nap, everybody that Tyson fought needed a nap then, too. Everybody been trained. They just, no. they were just ready to go to sleep, huh? No. No, nah, I think Tyson fights were a little bit even. That was, that was worse than a Tyson fight. Because even the Tyson fight, they get knocked out and they be looking all crazy. You know, all cross-eyed and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Pacquiao was lit. Salute. I'm talking about his body wasn't moving, y'all. He had deep breaths. That's about it. He was tired, y'all. Told y'all that man running government and train to fight. He was tired. He should have put that in the contract somewhere. If I do for this week, mm -hmm. I still get that least fight million. <laughs> mm -hmm. He still got paid off that fight, so... You know what I'm saying? He got them millions and millions and millions and billions off that. I, so I go to sleep for you some billions. The chameleons. Ha! Chameleons. <laughs> that's the new, that's the new, uh, that's the new currency flow, y'all. I got chameleons, homie. Chameleons. You know what I'm saying? That's like extra, that's like 50, 50 million times five. Mm-mm. I got a chameleon. You hear me? I'm mad with your man. <laughs> she hate y'all. You see, there it is. Y'all see it in the flesh. Never. Hateration. Never, never. Y'all, y'all should smell this fish, though. I'm telling you, y'all are lucky I'm the cameraman. I swear I'd have been out the door a long time ago. <laughs> gotta go smell that outside, y'all. Mm hmm. I got this batch nice and crispy. I already broke one. That's all right. We're going to eat it, though. He got a little broke arm right here. Mm. We'll go in with the spoon to get him out. Oh, bam! Oh, 
right, let's get two more in there. Two more, two more. And this is a um, pretty quick and easy meal, guys. The longest thing it takes me to do is to cook the grits. And that's because I don't do five minute grits. Right, no five minute grits. There we go, two more, two more, man. Love her grits, y'all. This was to put cheese on like cheese grits. Cheese. cheese. How many y'all like cheese? cheese? You like cheese grits? Y'all like regular grits. Let me know. Cheese or regular? White or yellow? Mm -mm. <laughs> a mess, y'all. He's a mess. All right, guys. I am going to finish frying up this fish and drain this grease out because we need to make us some green things. Nice fish. So I will see you guys back in just a couple seconds, okay? What's up, guys? I am back. As you can see, I've drained most of the grease out of here. I left about two tablespoons in there. I put the onions and bell peppers back in, and I'm going in with about two tablespoons of flour. I'm going in. No way, I'm sorry. I'm going in. Mm, mm, mm. And she go flower hard. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Y'all know B33 crazy. Yes. Yeah. A little special. Mm -hmm. And guys, make sure you keep those little brown bits that were on the bottom of your pan from frying your fish. And as I say, Carla Hall. I always says there's flavor in the brown, guys. Flavor in the brown. That's what she said. <laughs> I think we're looking good here. And I forgot to tell you guys what type of fish uh, I use today. Now, my grandmother would be using catfish. Catfish was always plentiful back home. We love it. That's just not um, something a lot of the, the main grocery stores carry up here. So this is actually flounder. You can pick it up at any of our grocery stores that we have up here. No big deal. And it tastes just as good. The catfish is usually more meatier fish than the um, flounder, but so good. So good, y'all. All right, we've let that cook out for about a minute there. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to it. Mm-mm, drone action, y'all. Drone action. You already know you. See the drone flying over me, y'all. All right, give that a little stir. Ooh, yes, the pepper just got up my nose. Been up mine. All right, right here I have some water, guys. I'm going with about half of the water that I have right now. Let that come together. My love. I'm sorry. Hold me. Aha. Y'all remember the TV game show? What was it called? Name That Tune? That used to be my junk. I can name that tune in three beats. <laughs> All right, give us some more water thickened up. Y'all want light brown gravy or dark brown gravy? What we want? What we want? What we want? Mm, light brown. Light brown is nice. Like me, yeah. <laughs> you yellow. Hey, <laughs> see what I'm saying, y'all? I always hate, always hating. Look at that gravy. Look at my arm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lighter than that gravy? Hey, hey, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. I am not lighter than the gravy. And the further south you go on your body, the whiter it Hey, <laughs> stop talking about my white feet, man. Oh, my white feet. Like John Witherspoon said, yeah, eat a bottle of tea. Your skin tone is just the ash. 
Oh, uh, well, you know, the ash help out a little bit, too, you know, know with the whiteness. It help with oh, the, it help, yeah, it help with, with the whiteness. whiteness. All right, definitely. Y'all see how he stay hating on me? Mm -hmm. That's all right, though. I don't hate. I'm about to That's all right. It's still a little thick, y'all. I had about three cups of water in here, and I still have about a half a cup left. And I think I'm gonna put most of it in there, not all of it. Not all of it. Not all of it, because it's still gonna continue to thicken up a little bit. Yeah, I can see the bottom of the pan here, so I need to thin it out just a little bit. Just a touch. So crispy and crunchy, y'all. All across my fingers. What movie did that come from, y'all? The Confused Fish. fish. <laughs> y'all remember that? You can remember what movie it was, and i give you a hint. It was with a famous comedian and a world-renowned martial artist. Confused Fish. <laughs> All right, Katie. He calling you out, girlfriend. <laughs> I know you know this one. And I'm just topping them off with some gravy love. Some gravy love. Mm -hmm. See those onions and peppers in there. I would have a slotted spoon doing this with. That's alright guys. Because why? That's what I got over here right this second. <laughs> Doing the job. And we got thick gravy. Mm hmm. And uh, fill up them holes. Oh. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. We have our smothered fish. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this heat off real quick and put the top on. And let it sit, just let it melt in that gravy so all the flavors come together. And then I'm going to fix you guys a plate. See you in a minute. What's up, guys? And I'm back. Here we have your grits with gravy and smothered flounder for you. Who's coming Ooh, for dinner? Me? <laughs> all right, guys. As always, I thank you so, so, so much for watching. And until next time, smooches.